Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the soon-to-be-frozen plains of sunny western New York. Today we're going to look at Mars Science Laboratory, Sol 111, right mast cam. There's some interesting artifacts, one glaringly obvious plant, and some anomalies that I can't account for, so let's get started. Alright, these two fascinating objects I don't know, they're these probably are <laughs> not natural. Referring to the one on the left there's like a little door that's sitting in front of it as if it had fallen off and that door if you raise it up appears like it would fit on that mouse hole shaped hole that's on the front of it. Matter of fact this object comes down to the point a point on the left and there appears to be another opening on the other end. As usual NASA doesn't bother showing us the whole object, they continue shooting lasers at rocks, which doesn't really interest me at this point, I can care less. I'm interested in the artifacts and the structures. Right beside it, it has this companion object, and something that appears to be a cable connecting the two. I'm not 100% certain about that, but it's not a rock, I can tell you that much. This object is hollow as well. Now, it has kind of a hut-shaped shape there, uh, like a half a tube or something. It goes up, and there's a knob at the top of it, which may be actually some sort of a pipe connection. I've seen some evidence of that. And of course the hollow area, and it goes back and then it's separated and there's another piece. And again, NASA doesn't see fit to deal with this type of thing. They'd rather show off their uh, brilliant little laser that pokes holes in rocks and beat us a bunch of BS while all they're looking for signs that there may have been water or life or something on the planet. Unbelievable. All right. I'm going to show. This you probably can't see very well. I'm not even sure what Dickens it is. This object concerns me greatly. This larger one. It appears to have pipes or something inside it. I've seen this before where there'll be a rock-like covering and there'll be things like pipes inside an object. And I don't have an answer for that. And it's not the only one in this, well, this series of photos. It's not the only one that has anomalies on it. This is just the beginning. It's just bizarre. And we're not getting any answers out of NASA as to what all this is about. Okay, taking a look at some of these objects, this one especially looks a little suspicious, as if perhaps it's uh, part of a building, kind of a rectangular thing, and there's possibility of a pipe sticking out there. You can just barely see it. So we have some issues there. These two objects are definitely not natural. Now here is an interesting... This is one of those things where we have this covering and then it's packed full of something. It almost looks like tree branches or something. 
So it's almost like they bundled some wood together or something, but it's impossible to say until we start getting a line of bull. I don't know, it's in my gray box, it's not an ordinary rock, I know that much. As for what it is, the use is as good as mine, I guess. Let's take a look. Here's another object. Now, notice the appearance of this thing. Ordinarily, you might want to dismiss it as a rock, but there's problems with that. For example, there's kind of a rectangular area up on top that looks almost shiny. You just barely see it. And the other thing is, we have this, it looks almost like chain mail. If you know what chain mail is, it's, you know, from Knights of Shining Armor days. That's not what it is, of course. But it's not natural either. I don't know of any geologic process that would produce this type of effect. And it's not a photographic anomaly or anything like that. So this object is not natural. There's no way. The question is, what is it? And I'm going to deal with that in just a moment. I need to uh, do my thing with the capture program or it'll do it. I'll be right back. Well, uh, as I was saying, I've been thinking that possibly some of these objects were actually engineered to look very rock-like. Another thing is that weathering has something to do with this. Well, it certainly is not unusual for such a species like ourselves to try and design an rock object, an object to look natural when it isn't. And there's all sorts of examples, but if we go with outside examples, uh, one of the better ones is cell phone towers, because there's this movement here in this country, it's called NIMBY. It's not really a movement, but stands for not in my backyard. And a lot of people just don't want these things in their backyard, so what the cell phone companies have been doing is designing the towers so they look natural, like, you know, some kind of a tree. That could be a factor here. And just pointing that out, that could be why many of these objects look natural, plus the fact that they have to go through weathering and all this. Alrighty. This thing here has got me stumped. I have no idea what it is. And it's not a rock. You got these uh, paddle shaped objects coming out of this thing. I don't know. That's beyond my... I would have no idea what function it serves or anything. Once again, the quality is pretty lousy. But take a look here. <laughs> we have a frond of, apparently, a plant right up above this uh, object here. Looks like apparently a plant grew up above it. There's no rock that could possibly account for that because, you know, you don't have these th thin areas on rocks the way you do on a plant. You just don't. It's either all or nothing. That one's not the greatest example. Well, I can't be certain.
of it, so I'm gonna have to let that go for the time being. Small plant there, and what looks like two stems going up here on that rock. So we have a lot of anomalies in this particular photo, and I don't have a lot of answers. These things obviously are not natural. And here we have kind of a covering type thing. It's almost like an upside down bulldozer bucket. It's not what it is, but that's the shape of it. All in all, we got a photograph here. It's got some things in it that just totally flunks me. I mean, I used to see structures and artifacts, but some of these things, I don't know. They got me uh, puzzled as what they are, except I know they're not natural. I'm going to go to the next slide. Alright, I promised the brazenly obvious plant, and right here it is. See, um, kind of a pyramid shaped object right here, and right in front of it, you have this bushy area. That's not a rock. Zero possibility that could be a rock. If you think that's a rock, check yourself in because that's just not the way it works. It's bushy, it's got all these open areas. Kind of looks like inflorescence to me. They didn't get close enough, of course, for me to make a positive in identification. They like said the object behind it is rather suspicious. Looks like a little pyramid. As do many of these objects up here. Most of them are probably rocks, but a few of them, like this one, I'm not so sure. Sure. Most of these wind up in my gray basket. Here's an interesting, looks like a building foundation. I've seen those before. It's kind of square right there. I'll take this down temporarily, take down the lighting a little and put up the contrast. We'll see if we can bring that up a little. And rectangular area. Looks like building foundation, possibly. I've seen enough of those and I'm not surprised. Other than that, not much in the way of fun and games here. A lot of these photos don't have much in them. Here's an interesting artifact or object. It's not a, not a rock. Not one of those hollow and it's got that flap hanging down. Fascinating. Don't know what it would be used for, but these things, this whole plant seems to be littered with these things. No, they're not natural. I ain't gonna say what I said before, you debunkers. I'm about had it with you. Comparing uh, daydreamers that watch clouds to serious researchers who are trying to figure out what we're seeing. You got some nerve even saying that. Again, another object hollow underneath. Probably not natural. Alright, I'm going to uh, record the second segment and we'll go to a new photo as soon as I'm ready.
All right, this is the third uh, slide. Here we have a distant object, two distant objects. This thing, the one on the left, looks like it's hollow, hollow and rectangular. So whatever it was, basically it's a very long box. And it appears to be overgrown with vegetation. Up at the far end, looks like there's a sphere that's attached to far, far end, so maybe that was some kind of Martian, uh, I don't know, street light? It's a little broad for that, but it'd be hard to tell unless NASA gets close to it. The studies it with a rover and shows us what's in it. Not natural though. I'm <laughs> certain of that. Absurd to call that natural. Anybody can see that it's just not a rock. Rocks are amorphous, they don't have shape really, usually. Object on the right. If I didn't know but I'd say that was an animal sitting right beside here, but I'm not going to say, say that. Object to the right is this big volute type thing. I'm used to seeing those too. I suspect that what we're seeing may be light again, like a floodlight. So you don't see a sedimentary rock that. Uh, was formed in the creek, for instance, isn't going to have this flat side. I mean, you have the, those rocks that are flat, but they don't... the flat part is on top, not on the side. They just can't form like that because they form from sediment, sand and clay and such. It just piles up over time and they aggregate together and grow hard. Uh, it just can't form like that. Neither can igneous rock. So that object is not natural. I suspect it may be a type of floodlight, but I haven't... Obviously, I can't go walk up to it and say, take a look at it, or I would. If I can walk on the surface of that planet, believe me, I'd have this mess straightened up in a hurry because I would show the proper pictures to the public and that would be that. I would show these things close up and show that they're not natural. I would show the plants and that would be the end of that. That would end the discussion right there. And I do think it's important because the simple fact of the matter is they're not telling us the truth, which means they have science that they're hiding from us. We pay for this science. So this is actually misappropriation of funds. At least as far as I'm concerned it is. Maybe a lawyer can tell me whether I'm right or on that or not. But I think some people could go to jail for misappropriation of funds because they're not telling the public well, this real science behind this. That's about it. We're going to go to the next slide. And this is a beauty. I just love this object. It goes up, has kind of a peak, peaked roof to it. There's all sorts of plants growing inside there. Uh, vegetation seems to have taken over inside there. It's a very old object, probably part of a building. This is a beauty. I can see stems all over the place inside there. It's just unbelievable. They can't miss this one. This has been modded for clarity, but you can see it in the original too. Plant stems, pipes, Unreal. 
just unreal. I'm loving this. Are you going to tell me that's a solid rock? You're out of your mind if you do. It's not nothing solid about it. It's hollow inside. Uh, it also appears to have a scoop on top. Perhaps an exhaust vent. That's nothing unusual. I see that type of thing. This is a glaring example of something that NASA isn't bothering to show to the public, and they should. Just this object alone, if they got close to it, took a peek inside it, it would blow the lid off all the news. I mean, it would be front page for 10 weeks. I don't have a public ear, unfortunately. I wish I did. I have this settled. Not a lot else in this photo. Just that one object with all the stems and possibly pipes, possibly a machine inside it. Just that one hollow logic. But man, I would love to get that on the front page of the newspapers. Going to go to the next slide. Hold on, please. Okay. Here we have more vegetation. Very unusual type. Usually don't see this type of thing. You see the branches right here. It's very uh, cactus like. And again, I'm quite certain. I gotta be careful here. Is that some sort of uh, unnatural piping system? I'm going to say that this is a plant. The rocks don't branch off like this. Give me a freaking break. So right there we have a pretty good example of a plant right out and open. Once again, missed intentionally by our marvelous scientists. To the right of that, and this anomaly right here, which I cannot identify, it's not natural, it's got, you know, like this plane on either side and then hollow area underneath it. It's bizarre. And this leaf. This is a leaf or something sticking up. And in this area, possibly some more leaves. I wouldn't know for sure. Those legitimately could be rocks, but they look like vegetation to me. In my gray area with those. Other than that, other than a small amount of vegetation, I'd say there's not much in this photo right here. Just these main objects. Next slide. Right here, we have the zigzag object. This thing is so glaringly, obviously not natural. It's pathetic. It's like a hollow metal uh, piece. It goes to something. It's not all right angles either. It's kind of an angled object. Not natural. It's hollow. 
No doubt metallic and no doubt been sitting there for a long time. Incredible. How can they simply ignore all this? They have some other questionable objects right in here, all through here. This is a good photo for small ground objects and artifacts. Another rectangular thing right here. Well, there's some definite artifacts and other things in this photo. Very old, they're corroded. But they're there. And all you gotta do is look to find them. Here's one that sticks up out on the ground comes to kind of a point. The whole area seems to be scattered with these artifacts. And I have no idea what most of them are. I love it when I can identify them, but it's not always possible. When it's something as simple like a pipe, yeah. Then I can say it's a pipe because no scientist has an advantage over me when it comes to something like a pipe because we all know what pipes are. This is the point. On some things they have an advantage, on other things they don't. Next slide. Not going to do much with this one. Not terribly exciting. Not much there, unfortunately. And again. We're back where we started from. The pumps. There are definite artifacts and structures and plants on these photos. There's no getting away from it. You know, we need your help. We need to uh, raise cane with your congressman. Raise cane with all these people. This is just flat out disgusting that the public is being lied to. We're not being told what these things are. We're not being shown. And I don't have all the answers. Heavens no. This is why... I'm demanding that they tell the public. We have the right to know. This is our stuff. This isn't uh, for them. We pay for it. This is my issue. Like I said, if this was a private company and they didn't want to disclose it, fine. But it comes out of our tax dollars and this is what angers me. I know that some of the things I'm seeing are not natural. They weren't put here by our current civilization either. I'll never back down on that. I'll never back down on plants. I'll never back down on structures. I won't back down. Period. End the subject. You don't like it? Talk to your psychobabbler about it. I'm not into your problems. Look. We have the right to know this stuff. We have the right to discuss it. And we have the right to be told what is in these photos. This is a part of tyranny because they're not telling us what's in them. I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'll let you know when 